Hey guys, this is just a mini review of uh, one of the newest scams. Um, you might have seen this in Craigslist. iPhone 4G, 16 gig for $220. So once you go into this website, right here, you're gonna see that it's the same as I was gonna show you guys Walisa.com. Apparently, there we go. Now oh, it's working. Um, so it's the same thing as secure. SecureBizMall, GladRide.com. Um, this is pretty much the same scam artist. He keeps making a lot of websites. Uh, these, these are just a few of them. Um, you can actually see my, in my channel, there's even more. <laughs> there's a lot of them, actually. Um, over 20 websites uh, so far that I've seen myself. Um, who knows how many he actually made. Uh, I try to keep up with him to see his scams. So once you go into them, we're just gonna go into all of them so you guys can see it's the exact same one. Um, he does change, well, he recently changed some pictures in them. So, not to make it too obvious, that's the same web page basically. Um, but it's the same type of scam. Um, well, he's gonna tell you, okay, here's the iPhone 4, so we're just gonna go into that. Okay, he's gonna tell you that you need to make the payment through Western Union okay for this one's just not going in okay so I'm just gonna leave it there loading apparently it didn't load okay these websites are usually really slow they, they really suck but anyways um, this guy will tell you to make a payment to Western Union okay uh, Usually scams always work like this. They tell you to send money to Western Union or MoneyGram. Um, this is because it's not a secure way to make payment. Um, people don't use it to make payments. This is just a way to send money to family members. So if you have family members in Mexico or wherever, Europe, Australia, wherever, um, you can send money through that way. Um, there are warnings uh, in Western Union, they tell you don't send money to strange people uh, because that's the easiest way to scam others. Uh, once you send the money, <coughs> you cannot complain to Western Union that you didn't get your product since they don't, they don't have any warranties for that. And that's why if you read their warnings, they tell you that. So basically, if you ask this scam artist if you can make payments through other like other ways, they'll tell you MoneyGram and PayPal. They only accept if you actually uh, spend more than five thousand um, dollars. They tell you this since MoneyGram, not MoneyGram, sorry, PayPal will only cover up to five hundred dollars. So they will be scamming you $4,500. And that's the way it works. So basically not even to PayPal safe. Um, so far they haven't done any scams through PayPal. Um, they only do it that way since PayPal only covers up to 500. Um, although PayPal only covers up to 500, even then I wouldn't take the risk with these guys since now you know that they're scam artists. Um, so basically, I send a message to all these guys and I ask them, you know, all the information, everything. And it's pretty much the same person. Man. They keep sending me just two different names. Uh, they vary from these two different people, and that's it. So they're from Beijing or Hong, Hong Kong. Um, I don't know if they moved already, but they're usually from there. Um, so they'll tell you to send money. To to there um, and then they just won't send you anything uh, if you see my other like wallisa.com if you see that review you're gonna actually see people or there was another one that I did but yeah wallisa.com I'm pretty sure a person sent me a message telling me their story that you know they did it a month ago and they're still not sending anything um, they keep going back and forth they actually told them, well one of the persons they actually told them to send more money um, they're gonna give them another iPhone 
or another product for even a cheaper price but they were gonna have to send another another hundred or another two hundred dollars so obviously that's when the person actually decided to look at reviews about the website so hopefully you're seeing this before you buy anything off these scam artists um, and you won't <laughs> so so basically if you see this stay away from them um, it would be great if you bug them I mean everybody hates scam artists these guys get away with it that's why they keep making web pages over and over again um, so if you can you know make fake receipts for Western Union and, and just mess around with them I would do that I actually do, do I actually do that when I have some free time um, I bug these guys you know telling that oh yeah I want like 50 units or whatever and then send them the receipt then they get pissed off afterwards because they see that yeah I was just messing around with them um, they will never admit that they're scam artists obviously um, since uh, you're probably not in China or anywhere you're probably just in Canada US and you're gonna buy stuff from these guys um, make sure you don't uh, since they are scam artists um, there's no way like if you go to police you can you can go to police make your complaint but you're not gonna get anything you're not gonna get your money back okay and they're not gonna go to jail or anything uh, since it's uh, they're not you know in the country so if you got scammed by them there's not much you can do um, although the police can't do really anything you should go and tell them uh, show them your receipts and everything, the money that you send, um, just so they have it on record. Um, it just helps out other people, and maybe one day they'll get these guys. Um, so basically, stay away from these people. They're, they're really, they're pretty good scam artists. Uh, there's other ones that send you actually nice, real tracking numbers from FedEx. Of course, a real company doesn't never will never send you uh, a tracking number from FedEx from other um, packages that they deliver to people. Um, for example, if you don't see, make sure if you don't if you can't find a review about a web page, especially ones that's not in the country, um, it's probably really new and it's probably a scam if the prices are like this you can see the, this website so make sure to stay away from them always watch reviews before you buy anything online um, a Chinese store that I do like is ePath China they don't have stuff like this cheap obviously when they have cheap stuff it's hold on I'll just type it in when they have cheap stuff it's not gonna be real like about China dot com. Okay, they don't have real stuff here, but it's decent stuff. Um, they do have some bad reviews. So far for me, they worked. I ordered a couple stuff. It's really bad quality in general, but it's cheap. So if you if you want something cheap, you know you could go for one of these phones. Okay, this is actually a, a company, a good company. Okay. Um, if they do send you a defected phone, uh, you probably won't get your money back from what I've seen on reviews. So far, the stuff, I ordered like six, seven items from this and all of them have been nice. They've been working nice, so I haven't had that issue personally. But I've heard, I've read in Google that people had problems with Ipad China. Um, so make sure if you're gonna buy something, yeah, you're risking that it might not work. Uh, like I said, for me, everything has worked. Uh, from what I've seen Google, not for everybody. So yeah, so take that in mind that when you order something off a Chinese website. Um, so that's about it. So just stay away from these, these scam artists. And that's about it. Thank you.